Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Aviation. If you're new around here, make sure to click that subscribe button. I do add-on reviews and full flight videos and much, much more. I'll be showing you the new Flypad update. First, you need to download the Fly-by-Wire installer. Go to the A320NX. Click on their development. Just want to make sure the development is in development and some faults are in the development. I haven't had any faults so far uh, and it's very good. So make sure you click development and click update. Now, here we are in the flight deck. Just landed in Gatwick from Guernsey. This this update only affects the fly pad. This update brings version 2 off the fly pad. Here we go. So now I've just connected fly by wire to Simbri and we're currently on not engine power we believe on APU so it's Simbri connected and it's showing we're in Gavik so this is nice it's similar to the old version next we're going to go down the list and this is dispatch this will tell us all about our flight GR343, that was my call sign, and max passengers, max cargo, engines, OFP, and the fuel. So that's the overall flight plan. And this is the fuel. So you can fuel it up, and it's an estimated 7 minutes. You can do it instant. In streams, I would do it real. So this is very nice how it's done, and of course we can now empty the whole thing out. So we currently have no fuel. Now going on to ground, they have fixed this. Every single button you can click, and now it works. You can click packs, and it will move the air bridge. There we go. So it's connected, and you can open the door as well. There we go. That's all been updated. Cool tug and pushback was in the last update. That's been all thick now. We're going to be going to performance, top of the set, and 2000, and it will show us. So I'm just going to insert. Oh no, it won't let me. So now we're going to go to the landing. We import our airport ICAO, which is EGKK for Gatwick. So we want to get Meta, and it will get the current Meta in Gatwick right now. So runway slope, there's no runway slope. So we are going to do config. So we're going to go full and reverse first yes calculate and it will now calculate our distance so max so this, this is our max break and then medium and look and it says it right here as well so that's quite cool that's a new feature navigraph charts you will see navigraph all of the charts connected to your account at the minute it's not working in my stable so I will need to update it again and it will work now that's it we're just going to come back to this, we're going to go to settings. So we had some of these settings before. Now, ARC, you can go to IVO, so I've changed it to Fatsim, so it now connects to the Fatsim network. And then you go through your settings, input Simpri, pack signs, and you still calibrate. That is still there. So we are currently connected to Catwick on Vatsim. This is quite a cool feature. Connect. Here we go. So what this does, I'm currently on Unicom. What this currently does, if we click 124.225, and if we go down to here, it is, that is now active. And it's also active on vpilot as well we can test that out we can move this and see it all worked so we're going to click the ATIS which is 127.127 as you can see that's now active and um, we can now check this again and see if it's active and then again it's active from there so we're just going to connect so that is a very cool feature if you're flying in uh, airspace and you forget the frequency you just need to connect so you can go London controller and it connects right there for you so it's very quick and simple which is amazing also this is a very clever feature and it's incredible how they did it this update is amazing I hope you have enjoyed this video 
but if you did make sure to subscribe like and share and i will see you in the next video goodbye